end product inhibition. So this is actually a form of negative feedback. So to stop more and more and more and more product being made, this is a way of kind of reining that in and making sure that a cell doesn't overproduce something. So it can work where the product remains tightly bound to the enzyme, so another substrate can't come and bind. This prevents more product than the cell needs from being made, kind of slows down the reaction. So if the product stays bound to the active site, then the active site isn't free to carry out another reaction. There is another way this can work. When a process involves a series of enzymes in a metabolic pathway, then if it's not just one enzyme, one product, then we can still have a similar effect because the final product of this chain of series of enzymes can act as a non-competitive inhibitor of the first enzyme in the sequence. This stops cells from accumulating too much product. And it's reversible. So when the concentration of the product in the cell falls and decreases, then these molecules will detach from the enzyme and then the enzyme is free to then carry out the first stage in the process again and so we can make more product. So these yellow dots here is my final product made by enzyme three in this sequence. These act as non-competitive inhibitors of enzyme one. So they bind to the allosteric site, so away from the active site, and they change the active site shape. So you can see it's kind of a bucket shape there instead of being, so it's kind of scoop bucket shaped here instead of being this kind of pentagon shape. So when we are in high concentration of the product, this is the shape of the enzyme one we have with this kind of scoop shape because it has the final product bound to it as a non-competitive inhibitor. But then when the concentration drops, so we get low concentration of the product, then we go back to being this pentagon shaped active site and the non-competitive inhibitor is gone, it's detached. And so then enzyme one can catalyze the reaction with the first substrate, which forms the green square, then the green square is the substrate for enzyme two, and that catalyzes it into like the plant pot shape, and the plant pot shape is the substrate for enzyme three, and that catalyzes the creation of the circle final product from that plant pot shape substrate. So then we go again, so obviously we make that final product, and then if this final product gets too high, too concentrated in the cell, then it'll go back to being a non-competitive inhibitor of enzyme one. And that pauses it until the product is used up in the cell and then we can start the process again. 